Welcome to the video from the digitallife.com. This video, I'm going to have a quick look at this Acer Holo 360. This is a camera, but with a bit of a difference because it takes 360 shots. It's got a sort of fisheye camera there, and one on the rear there, and then it put, combines them together to take 360 pictures and videos. Uh, the really good thing about this is it's powered by Android. It's an Android 7.11 um, operating system, which means you can put apps on here. So there's quite a lot you could do with it. You can, as well as taking videos and uh, pictures, you can live stream 360 to Facebook or to YouTube. Um, you can upload, say, to OneDrive because you can just install the Android OneDrive on there. So we'll have a look, quick look at that. Before I just dive into the features and some tests that I'm going to do with it, uh, I'll just give you the um, specs. It's got a 3 inch IPS screen, it's got 16 gig of storage with support for an SD card uh, up to 20, 128 gig. You can have a SIM card in it, so for data, so you can li literally be live streamed directly from this. You don't have to use your phone or anything else like that. Uh, it's got a 16 megapixel front and a 16 megapixel rear uh, camera which gives you the option to take 4K videos. It's got Wi-Fi and like I said, Bluetooth and uh, support for putting a data sim in there as well. £299 as well is the recommended price on this. So what can you do with this? Well the basic thing is to take 360 pictures and videos. So let me have a look, let's have a look at a 360 picture. So I can go hit the 360 button there and you see the camera is active and there you can see this kind of fisheye. You can see me here filming. The rear camera is going to take a picture of the, this box so let me move forward a little bit um, and I'm just going to tap the, the, pic, the icon tap the control there and that's taken a photo just as it would have done if you've got um, an Android device. So then I can go into the viewer and it has these special pictures then which you can see it looks it's hard to show you on this camera it looks like a side-by-side -side picture but what happens is when you tap it to process it it then renders that out as a 360 image so you take pictures it quickly captures them as this side by side then later you render them it takes a little bit of time to render but uh, not too much so now you can see through even through here I can look through that uh, 360 image so there you see there is the box that there so that's behind it and there you can see I am at the front of it so it's not a good way of seeing them on here uh, what I'll do is I'll include a couple of pictures on the blog post and I'm actually going to insert some clips of looking at these pictures on um, Windows Mixed Reality headset. So Mixed Reality is the VR headsets from Microsoft and partners and uh, I'm going to get take these photos and some other ones I've done and view them in, from that VR environment which is definitely the best way I think of viewing these pictures because you're immersed in the pictures. So here's the 360 image that I took the other day and they, you can see I'm looking at this through Windows Mixed Reality so I've got a full 360 view of this image and it looks a lot sharper when you see it on say a phone or or a PC, you know, or your PC but here I've actually blown this up to a full 360 so I've got a full image and yeah it's a little bit blurry but it's great you're you're really in there and I do like I do like that so it's a great way of viewing these photos. So that's taking a picture let me do a video clip and I'll show you what the video looks like and I'll show you about this rendering mode. So I'm going to take a video there. So it's taking a video. You can see that uh, it's taking the front and the back. So my fingers there is behind it and then I'm at the front of it here. Okay, so let's, that's, got that video. There's a side by side version of it. So we need to render that to be able to see it. I think oh there's that video now but what we want to do is render that so I'm going to save it and that's processing it now so you can see you've now got to wait for this to process so if you've got a lot of video 
actually this takes a bit of time and it has to be done on the device you can't done off um, on another device so what I've been finally doing you take lots of pictures and then when you get ready to want to share it with someone or view them then you've got a process so you have to do this wait it's pretty quick on photos videos it takes quite a bit longer so even that short video I actually did then you can see how long it's going to take so imagine if you've got lots of these clips um, you can do them you know you can multi select select load to do and they'll just go away and do it in the background but you've got to do this before you can then share them uh, via Google photos or Facebook Twitter whatever you have to do this processing and of course like I said it runs Android so if you want to share a 360 picture directly to Facebook Twitter um, Instagram whatever you can do it directly from here you just install the app on here through the App Store so you sign in with your Google Play account and just do it as you would do it from a phone and while I'm waiting for that to render as well I'll just say this form factor is actually quite a nice form factor it's very easy it comes with this nice pocket case and there's a USB uh, micro USB port for charging. The only thing I think it's missing is a tripod mount. So here's a video I took a couple of days ago. You can see me there, and this is real time, and I can pan around and look out of this window at this view out there. So there you can see the waterfall. I can zoom back out. I can pan it round. There I am, and you can see full 360 video. Now obviously through through here is not the ideal method but you can view it through a phone, um, you can view it on a tablet, you can view it on a laptop, but the, what I really do like is running them through mixed reality. And so here's a photo, as you can see, full 360, really easy to take, you just take them with the, the camera button. If you've got video, camera, you do panoramics, and you can view them through here. But because it's running Android, I've got these applications installed. So I've got YouTube, so I can directly go to YouTube, I can go live, live 360, I can directly go to Facebook, I can upload to OneDrive. However, whatever app you want, you can live stream it from through this. So it does give you that option of going live with it, which I think is probably something most people would want. One of my only criticisms with this, and perhaps it's a it's a bit of a, a generational thing, but I like 360 photos and I've done them many a time with just a standard phone using the 360 mode where you, you take one, take one, take one. And I prefer to, I like that for looking at it through Windows Mixed Reality and looking at these 360 images where you're not in them because you're, t you're holding the camera moving around. With these you are in the image every time. Now some people like that, some people won't like that. So it really, there you can see, there I am talking now, scrolling up, and I can pan round and you'll see my uh, untidy room, but there's my laptop. Um, yeah, so you end up in every one. Some people like that, some people won't. If it had a tripod mount and maybe a timer, I could uh, stick it on a tripod, put it on a delay, let it take the picture, but uh, you can't do that. Like I said, it, it, because it's running Android as well, it does mean that you can you can use it for other things other than um, taking photos. You can get your email there through your Gmail account or through the Outlook account. However, you can get you know put Twitter on there, get notifications, use the on-screen keyboard. So it's, I really like that idea. It's Android. Now back to this rendering thing. So these are clips you take, and I say you've got to render them, but you can multi-select them. So I could select a few clips and. Uh, and tell it to process them and come, go away and come back. Like I say, it does take some time. But once you've done that, they are um, available then to view anytime. And like I said, you can up, you can share them out. You can um, do whatever you want with it. So you've seen how I'm viewing them on uh, through Windows Maturity. I said you can do it through PC as well. So it's a really nice device if you like 360 videos, 360 pictures. Then this is a great way of taking it. Better than using the phone. It's instant. You take the picture. It's instant. You take a 360 picture. Boom! It's done. You, there's no. There's no delay. It's not like with, your, with the phone where you've got to hold it and move it around, pan around. 
same for the panoramics, same for the videos. You can go live with it as well, which I know a lot of people like as well. So that's the Acer Hall 360. Just a quick look, and as you've seen, I can view those uh, through things like mixed reality as well. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.